So today on the bench, we have a Tektronik AM501 operational amplifier. This is very old school. So it's built with all of these really awesome little metal can transistors. And look at this, these are socketed so you can replace them. So we're trying to calibrate the offset. We've already checked to make sure that the power supplies are within the appropriate range. So these tremors are set correctly. And we also ran a procedure to just check to make sure it does, you know, work like an op amp. It created an inverting op amp configuration with a gain of whatever, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, we're setting up the offset null procedure here. So we don't have an 800 ohm resistor handy, so I used 820, but I figured that should be close enough for what we're doing. This 1K resistor and then a jumper. So those are all placed in the appropriate spots here. And when we look at the offset, it's all over the place. And when I adjust the pot, let me try to adjust the pot here. Okay, so I'm lowering it. But now it's shooting down in the negative direction. So I go, okay, let me try increasing it. Okay, so I get here, but oh, no, now it's shooting off in the other direction. So I'm having a bit of craziness with the DC offset. If anyone is familiar with Tektronik equipment and has a suggestion of what I should be checking out next to figure out this weird mystery of the DC offset, see? Uh, now it's kind of settled around there. But let me try turning it. Nope, now it's going back down. No, not really. So let me turn it back down again. The pot, turning down the pot, turning down. Oh, but see, now it's shooting off the negative direction. I can't get this to settle down. It's always going too far one direction or the other. So there's also the possibility that we don't have the various resistors here set correctly, but we think we do. Anyway, if anyone has any ideas about what to check out, let me know. And as an aside, this power supply would work when the 10 to 20 volt button wasn't pushed in. But when you pushed it in, it would sometimes work and sometimes not work. And basically the way we fixed it was by pushing that button a whole bunch of times. I think there was some corrosion or something that had gotten in here that was making some of the contacts in here iffy. Sometimes it would drop by two or three volts from where it should be. Other times it was fine. It would sort of switch back and forth randomly. So it looks like it was a mechanical problem. Maybe I should spray some deoxid in here. I don't know, it's working for now.